I came to Kansas because it's the number one wheat producing state in America and because it's one of the places where Egypt gets its wheat. It turns out that Egypt depends on other countries for about half of its wheat supply. Tom Giesel and his brother have spent their entire lives here, and lately, something's changed. And it was like somebody flipped a switch. And it, it, it quit raining, it got warm, and it just stayed that way. How long has that been going on? Three years ago in August is when it turned out here. Mm -hmm. We live in a, in the High Plains, we live in an area of extremes. It can be extremely hot, extremely cold, extremely dry, extremely wet. So people are desensitized to the extremes. It's easy to say, I've seen that. Yeah. But when you see these incremental shifts that move forward, like, you know, the overnight temperatures rising just a little bit, along with the daytime mm -hmm. temperatures. And you've experienced that. Yeah. And that's important, for example, corn pollination, because it pollinates, it does a lot of pollination at night when it cools off. Well, if you're not getting these cool temperatures, everything needs a rest, animals, plants, everything. And nighttime affor affords that rest. It, mm. It's cool, it, it, everything just settles down, but we're not cooling off at the nights the way we used to.